Okay, welcome students. Our, we are going to start the grade 10 mathematics. So, and we are going to learn unit 5, lesson 5, lesson 6, okay? So, now welcome to our today lesson. So, our today lesson is graph of the sine, cosine, and tangent functions. We are going to see what? The graph is of sine and cosine and tangent. We wanted to see this. Now, if we want to sketch the graph of the sine function or the cosine function or the tangent function, either of this function is, we will use simply the way we were sketching the graphs of the linear functions. It is the same with that. We will try to show on the x y plane. What will be changed is only what? The numbers on the x axis will become measures of the angles. That means it will be in degree or it will be in radians. So now graph of the sine function. The trigonometric function graphics can be sketched in the same way as the graphics of the linear functions or the quadratic functions or the exponential functions. You remember how to sketch the graph of linear function on the x y plane. It is the same to it like that. We will sketch like that. It is so simple. Now, we start from table values and put the table values on the x y plane, taking x as an angle in degree or what? in radians. We will try. So whenever we want to sketch the graph of a sine function, it is simply that we will start from the place we have been starting for the linear function or the quadratic function. We will take a table that consists of x and y. We will use y is equal to sine x. Then we will take some angles, the place of x instead of taking pure numbers, we will take angles that are in degree or in radians. Now let us see the fairest function graph. So example, to sketch the graph of sine function, we will see this function in order to understand how to sketch. And the next we will do together. We want to sketch the graph of y equal to sine x. So use the table y equal to sine x, then show the values on x y plane. That is all. Let us see the table. We will take two things. We will take x values, we will calculate y values. Then what we get from this table, we will put on the x y plane. Now let us see the table, x and y. It has two rows. The first row is x, the second row is y. But x, we will take it by some numbers, some measures of angles. We took, we took negative 360 degree. When x is negative 360 degree, what will become sine negative 360 degree? Think about it that. It will be zero, isn't it? When x is negative 270 degree, it will become negative 1. When x is negative 180 degree, eh, it will become 0. When x is negative 90 degree, it will become negative 1. When 0 degree, it is y equal to sine x or sine 0 degree will become 0. So we will calculate in this form. So we have got that what? When x is negative 360 degree, it is y equal to sine negative 360 degree will become 0. When it is negative 270 degree, y will become 1. When it is negative 180 degree, it will become 0. When x is negative 90 degree, it will become minus 1. When x is 0 degree, sine of 0 degree will become 0. So we will continue in that way and get these values. If we make a mistake on the values, our graph will be wrong. Now let us put this in a standard position. What is changed here? From the previous graph is that you, yeah, that you was familiar with them. What is changed is, so I guess, values. وحيسكب دي الجرافيدي حتى وكورة تقاني وإيجس قيمة ياشا 
ديدك ايغاس انو قادنا قرا ديدك ايغاس وحي انو قادنا حبا عبرو حنقل حقلا يان قادنا او سد نيجاتيف 360 ديغري حدا كور لكن حد قادن جيرني تيروين عادي سدا 1 يا 2 يا 3 يا نيجاتيف 1 يا نيجاتيف 2 وحيا باس قادن جيرني حدا هن انو ايغنو لابدي ديدك ايغاس يا واي اها ايان ايغينا حقلان ات ويل بيكم لايك ذيس سو ذا جراف اوف واي equal to sin x is as below look this is the graph what is the difference between the the previous graph is that we have learned and this one only what's the difference is what the values of x the numbers on the x axis are angles measures of angles when x is 0 degree it is 0 it will be at the center when x is 90 degree you will select the 90 degree point you will move where y equal to 1 move upward and touch 1 so the graph will become in this form What can you see from the graph now? Can you tell me the properties of this graph? Can you tell me the domain? Can you tell me the range? Is this graph repeating graph? It is pattern. These are the things that we must consider. Now, let us see here from the graph we can understand after a complete revolution, every 360 degree or two pi radians, the values of the sine function repeat themselves. That means it has a pattern. It will repeat. It will never be beyond one. It will never be below minus one. That is why we call this graph is re is what repeating itself after 360 degrees. Each after three, each 360 degrees will repeat. Okay, a function that repeats its values at a regular interval is called it periodic function. This is called periodic function. So after. some interval again it will start again 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 and that that type of function is called periodic function the sine function repeats after every 360 degree or two by radianis therefore 360 degree or two by is called what the period of the sine function the period of the sine function is what 360 degree or two by now let us see the other important point that is domain and range of the sine function as you can see our table from as you saw from the table or from the graph that we have sketched we can understand the domain what is the domain domain was what the values of x isn't it so the domain is all real numbers the domain of the function and the sine function is all real numbers what do you expect the range go back to our graph if you go back and you try to observe you will see what that the y values of the graph will be between one negative one and the one including so that is the range the range of the sine function is the values between minus one and the one including minus one and the one themselves that means whatever angle you put in sine function what you will get will be minus one and uh, one numbers between them okay that is all for the sine function can you the cosine function graph can you highlight the properties of this the cosine though we will do together as example again let us see together as an example example it says escape the graph of y equal to cos x using the table below Okay, we will use the table, but can you highlight the table? Okay, now this is the table. Y equals to cos x. When x is negative 2 pi, what do you expect cos x? What do you expect? It will become what? 2 pi is what? 360 degrees, the same. It is in radian measure. So it will become uh, 1, it will become. So and write down this period of the function and domain of the function. Again, range of the function. These are the properties that you want to write. Can you feel, students? Can we feel? I am sure that you can feel. Okay. After we sketch, we will also you will tell me these points. Now let us see. First, fill the table, then show the values on the x y plane. That is all. The table is like this. When x is negative two by, cos of negative two by will become one. So the cos of negative 3 by over 2 will become 0 and so on. So we will put this in the, stand, in, in, in the xy plane. The vertical line y and the horizontal x we will put on there. So the graph of y equal to cos x is as below. This is the graph. Our graph is between what and the what? 
When I guess is zero, it is one. Directly you will go to one. Mark it. So this is the graph. What do you observe? I am sure that you can highlight the properties. Is this function a periodic function? Is this function a function that we can find easily this domain and range? Now let us see the properties that we can, we can get from here. The B rate of the function is 360 degree or 2 pi. The domain is what? All real number is no value that make undefined. That is why it become a real number. The range again is between what and what? Minus 1 and the 1 including. So this also the function y equal to cos x again. Now let us see the graph of the tangent function. Okay, graph of the tangent function. To escape the graph of the tangent function, y equal to tan x, as you have learned as before, we will start from a table. Let us begin from the table below. The table says like this. What is, when x is negative pi over 2, what is tan x? By the way, negative pi over 2 is what? It is negative 90 degree. So using the unit circle, you can find the value of that, whether it is defined or undefined, you can know from there. So what we wrote, in here as you can see, there is a hyphen, there is a dash, button, x mark i time minus pi over 2, y equal to sine x the mesh and line, qima haku habon, and kukorne, wa mel madano harichin bansarne. So after harichin tau sarne, wa madam we have undefined. It will become 1 over 0, kala yun nukonea. So undefined. Hal kaso kale? Maada, makayahna, so when it is zero, it's like this. When it is by over four, it is one. When it is by over two, it is undefined again. So now let us put this in, in where? In the xy plane now. If we have filled it correctly, our graph will become correct. But the places which there is a hyphen, we will put what? A vertical line, broken line, it will become vertical asymptote line. You know asymptote line, isn't it? So, Undefine it, and the angle is negative 90 degree, 90 degree, and 270 degree. So the function is undefined in where? In negative 90 degree, positive 90 degree, 270 degree. In this place, it is what? Undefined. Isn't it? So in here, the graph at this point is in which the tangent function is undefined it will be made broken vertical line. It will be made vertic broken vertical line, not a straight line, broken vertical line. And it is called what? Vertical asymptote line. So the graph of y equal to tan x is as below. This is the graph. Look well. Negative pi over two, it was undefined. There is a broken line, vertical broken line. And at pi over two, at 90 degree, there was it was undefined in there. So we have a broken line, blue, isn't it? Again, when we say 3 pi over 2, 270 degree, it is undefined in there. There is a broken line, vertical. So this is the graph of the tangent function. Students, by looking at the graph, can you highlight the properties of this function? Can you tell me the B rate of this function? Can you guess the domain and the range of this function? Okay, now let us see this. The tangent function is a periodic function with 180 degree or by B rate. The B rate of the tangent function is different from the two other, the previous, the sine and the cosine. This function B rate is what? 180 degree. Each in, in each 180 degree, it will repeat itself. That is why we call it 180 degree is the B rate of the tangent function. What do you observe from the range? The range is what? The y values in this graph, it is a real number. The domain is what? All real number except the point is at the eh, undefined places. What is the undefined places? n times 180 degree or n by. n stands this for odd integers. So this is why we didn't say all real numbers, the domain. We don't know how to say all real numbers. We don't know how to say all real numbers. We don't know how to say all real numbers. We don't know how to May I answer to low here in one casarina? While water it is oriel number, water casta, while hagal casta, while hankahain, do sanayash police state and degree. The range is all real numbers, is all real numbers. Okay, so 
That is all for our today lesson. Till we meet our next lesson, work hard and read well.